Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself for newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe in order to uh, have some success in the long run, like how the late Stanley was. In this particular footage, I'm going to introduce a kaiju character known as Metamorphos. And if you guys bear with me, I will introduce the character to you guys, and I'll try to keep it comprehensible and such, so just bear with me and such. Here it is. Metamorphos, number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, August 4th, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across the jungles of Africa until we see a small group of unnamed adventurers walking through the trees. After a while, they soon discover a white, house-sized insect egg in the depths of the jungle, and decided to examine it. However, the egg hatched, and from it came a 600-foot-long creature with front half the body of a woman and back half the body of a yellowish worm. She also had green eyes, pinkish red hair and a short bob, and was partially off screen to keep keep the story legal, you know? Instantly, the creature devoured the explorers and started burrowing all the way to the heart of Paris, France. After almost a day of burrowing to the location, she went rampant until Mega Maid showed up. Who and what are you? she asked the creature in concern. I am Metamorphous, or simply Ingrid, trying to make sure that I've done enough to start my metamorphosis. There's nothing else I can say. You know, you don't have to destroy this city, Ingrid, Mega Maid replied. Well, I have to, ma'am. It's instinct. And that was enough for the two to start fighting. First, Ingrid revealed a silk spray from her mouth to keep Mega Maid in place, but she ripped herself out of the silk and bashed her with her rectangular broom. Metamorphous then started burrowing in the ground to make a surprise attack, but as she launched herself to her opponent, Mega Maid used her nuclear vision to blast her to the Eiffel Tower. Brutally wounded, Metamorphous passed out and started cocooning very slowly. After her grand victory, Mega Maid picked up the developing creature and ran to the jungles of Africa to leave her in place. After a few months, Metamorphous finally completed her transformation, gaining a pair of butterfly wings, an extra pair of arms, a pair of insect antennae, and the power to project electric streams from her eyes instead of using silk. She then flew to Washington, D.C., where she reunited with her opponent. Mega Maid, I'm sorry about what happened, I just couldn't control myself. And Mega Maid then replied, I did feel sorry for defeating you. I just wanted to make sure everybody there was safe. And from that point on, the two became loyal allies. Eventually, Metamorphos also became an ally with other heroes, including Kyjericus. Colossa, the Star Spangler, and others. Recently, Prim rewarded her with a multicolored top for her to wear, along with getting fused with the power to change between her caterpillar and butterfly forms. The end. Well, I hope you guys appreciate the story and such. I hope it's comprehensible and efficient on your guys' behalf. And if you want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's your choice. And... Also, if you want to help my creations thrive, you could share it to as many people as you personally feel to be necessary. I don't want to seem desperate or stubborn about it, I just like to have some long-term levels of social success with my creations and such. So, I apologize for the inconvenience if it seemed out of place on your guys' behalf. So, and until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this footage and such. Until next time, in transmission.